Happy Monday, February 5th of the year 2018. Welcome. Okay, so this is episode three um, of me doing podcasts because it's no longer called the Sunday Cool Podcast. We finally landed on a name, a new logo, and uh, we are now called the Find and Follow Podcast. Find and Follow uh, is the new name of this podcast, which I'm really excited about. And uh, two things I love about that name, uh, the first church that I worked for uh, down in Seneca, South Carolina, was Foothills Community Church, where this uh, mission was first uh, implemented into me. And secondly, it came with me in the move back to Greenville, South Carolina for a live student ministry. We exist to help students find and follow Jesus. And I love those two words. Find and follow. Uh, Find comes from Matthew 7 where it says, uh, Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. And so we, we claim that word not knowing that we can just find God. Like we know that, that we love him because he first loved us. But it seems that if you're in Jesus and you're a co-heir with Christ, Matthew 7 gives you some really cool things. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. So that's where find comes from. And then follow is a couple chapters back in Matthew 4. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So it seems like that's what it's all about. Find and follow. Man, I love that. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So, hey, we landed on a new name. We're no longer the Sunday Cool Podcast, but we are the Find and Follow Podcast. It's still episode three, but in actuality, this is really episode one of the new name. So there we go. Thank you for everyone who uh, has kind of helped with the name search, but I got to give a shout out to Matt Stevens. So Matt Stevens is one of our leaders on Sunday nights with, uh, I think he's a 10th grade life group leader. And last night we were having a little Super Bowl party which shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles for saying no to the New England Patriots. See, someone just needs to tell them no. Like, no, you've won too much. We're sick of you. I mean, yeah, we hate you uh, well, hate's a strong word. We don't like you mainly because you win all the time. Like, I'm so thankful we're not talking about Tom Brady right now. However, we're talking about a guy named Nick Foles, okay? And let me tell you why I rooted for the Philadelphia Eagles last night, although I'm not an Eagles fan. Nick is a Liberty University student. He is studying online with the greatest school in the world, uh, that trains champions for Jesus Christ. And uh, so Nick is a fellow flamer, which is awesome. And uh, I read an interview with him that asked, what are you going to do after your football career? And he unapologetically said, I want to be a student pastor. Okay, that, that right there is awesome. Uh, and it's so cool that this guy fears the Lord uh, he's a great athlete, and not only is he a great athlete, he was the second string quarterback. Homeboy's the backup QB that just won the Super Bowl. So that's awesome. Uh, but anyways, I'm sitting with Matt. We had some other people uh, watching the game with us, and uh, I look at Matt and I say, Matty, dude, I gotta nail down a name for, uh, for this podcast. And we're sitting in the high school room of our student facilities, and we've got the, the game up on the big screen, you know, got it going through the subwoofers, we got some surround sound action, and written on our walls in our high school room is find and follow on one wall, on the left side, and on the right side it says Jesus Christ. And he looks at the wall and he just says, why don't you call it the find and follow podcast? And I was like, right when he said it, I knew that was the name. So shout out, Matt Stevens. You're one of my favorite redheads. Uh, good for you for helping me with that name. Hope everyone had a blast watching the Super Bowl. If you missed the halftime show with Justin Timberlake, today, here's your one homework assignment. Every podcast, I feel like I'm going to have a homework assignment. It's to get on YouTube and watch that halftime performance. That guy is next level. And then what they were able to do to incorporate Prince, 
okay? Like, I, and then they were like singing harmonies together. The whole city of Minneapolis, Minneapolis became like purple. It, it just was, it's tied for first place with Bruno Mars' uh, last Super Bowl performance. And you know, the Wadsworths love Bruno Mars. So to even compare JT's performance to Bruno is a huge compliment. But I uh, hope everyone had a blast watching the Super Bowl. What was your favorite commercial? Uh, I'll tell you what wasn't my favorite commercial, and it was one that was unbelievably awkward, was the one with uh, Eli Manning and uh, Odell. Is it Odell? Or is it Beckham? Whoever that junior is, the guy with the crazy hair. They were like dancing and I don't know. I For some reason, maybe I was just in a bad mood for that two minutes, but I, I did not find it funny. I thought it was like almost embarrassing to Eli Manning. So the commercials were okay. There was none that really stood out to me. Would love to know which commercial was your favorite. But uh, yeah, hope everyone had a great Super Bowl Sunday. For a live student ministry, uh, we actually had our service on Saturday night. We call it Saturday Night Alive. And, uh, and, and one of the things I love doing at Saturday Night Alive is we always, or always, for the last six or seven years, have a really fun game to try and predict who uh, is going to win the Super Bowl. And for the first five years of doing this, we were five for five. We successfully predicted five Super Bowl winners in a row. Then last year, we predicted the Atlanta Falcons were going to win in the 2017 Super Bowl. And obviously, if you know your history, you know what the Patriots did and coming back like four touchdowns down, you know, and, and came back in the fourth quarter to win it. And so obviously the New England Patriots ruined our streak. Then at Saturday Night Alive this year in 2018, we predicted that the New England Patriots were going to win. And they lost. So this is just more fuel on the fire of my loaf for New England. They have ruined the last two predictions. But I'll tell you what, I'm okay because they lost. And that that makes me happy. It made me so happy to see the look on Bill Belichick's face because it's the same look he always has. It's the same look of when he wins a million dollars or loses a million dollars. That guy is, he's uh, interesting. That's the word I'm going to go with. He is interesting. So we had Saturday Night Alive. We had a blast. We uh, were continuing in our Colossians 3 study, and we looked specifically at verses 12 through 14, and a lot of that language in those three verses is to clothe yourself, and we kind of we kind of had fun with that language because Paul is using, uh, he is using so much of this language of put on and put off. Like scripture is really clear of what we need to put on to clothe ourselves with uh, really when, when we uh, wake up. Just like we do physically, we get dressed. Well, Colossians 3 was telling us what we spiritually need to get dressed with. And so that was really cool just to talk through that. Uh, those three verses also talking about how we're to bear with one another. We're to forgive with uh, one another, even if we have a grievance. And there's nothing better for middle or high school students to hear especially that last part, even if you have a grievance. Uh, so even if you have beef with someone, that doesn't justify living uh, in disunity with, with that person. And so Saturday Night Alive was awesome. My, here's my one big takeaway. My one big takeaway is the momentum we have going into our winter retreat, which is this weekend. Uh, this is unprecedented territory for us. This is the first ever winter retreat that I have done in my career of being a, a student pastor, but our first winter retreat for North Hills Church with a live student ministry. And I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm excited on, on two levels. Number one, I'm excited and I'm gonna praise God in advance for the work and his faithfulness that I know will be on display um, in Andrews, North Carolina. And that's exactly where we're going in the heart of the Blue Ridge Mountains to a place called Snowbird Wilderness Outfitters. Uh, if you have never heard of Snowbird, uh, I'm giving you two homework assignments on this podcast. It is to check out Snowbird. Uh, we go there every summer for their missions 
uh, camp, which is really cool. We, we, we sleep in these massive tents and we're put on a work site and we serve the people of Andrews and the preaching is phenomenal. It's by a guy named Brody Holloway, which is two things about Brody. Number one, uh, he's one of the best communicators of the gospel I've ever heard. And that's a compliment because I have heard a lot of people uh, proclaim God's word. So his teaching is is just, it really connects with me. It's, it's good stuff. And secondly, what I love about Brody, he's like seven foot tall and he's thick as a brick. And the dude does CrossFit 19 times a day. And he just demands your respect. Like, when he, even when he's preaching, it's like you don't even dare look away from Brody because he'll just, he'll body slam you. I mean, the dude is just awesome. He's so cool. And uh, I just, I'm so excited to get our kids to go to the mountains this weekend. We're sleeping in cabins. There's no technology, which makes me so excited. It forces our kids to unplug. But, but what we're going to be looking at is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6, where it says, where Peter is saying, uh, uh, the, the kind of the call, the command, the, uh, the shout out to Christians is be holy for I am holy. I don't know about you, but when I hear that, I, I think there's no way that's possible. And even if I try, I will come up short. So what does that mean for us to live a holy life? And so I'm going to kind of leave it just with that. I'm not even going to try and answer it. I'm not going to try and exegete God's word to answer that question. But, but that is the question that is going to be on display for this winter retreat. Be holy for I am holy. So we're, we're going to look at three ways of this word of purity. We're going to talk about how can we be pure in our hearts and in our minds and with our bodies, our physical bodies. Uh, there's going to be breakout sessions for guys and breakout sessions just for girls. And we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Um, we are going to wage war. Um, there's going to be a spiritual battle too. So if you're listening to this podcast, we covet your prayers. Prayer warriors, please. Uh, we've got 42 students going, which I'll tell you what, this is the first ever unprecedented winter retreat. I'll take it. 42 kids, come on, I'm stoked. I hope we have more uh, in the following years, but the sovereign hand of God is gonna bring exactly who he wants to be there. And I'm just, I'm so excited out of my mind. So please be praying for us. Uh, next week's podcast, we are gonna be talking about the winter retreat and we're gonna be praising God for what he did. And get excited, I'm gonna have Brian Gilbert on the show uh, if you don't know who Brian is, then tune in next week and he'll quickly become one of your favorite people ever because he is for me. Uh, top 20. I'd put him in my top 20 list of one of the coolest guys I know. Uh, he's America's sweetheart. So there you go. Episode three of the brand new Find and Follow podcast. Hope you guys are having a great Monday. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you next week. Thankful that God makes every day so new. Adios.